Why does medication adherence matter so much in cardiovascular disease prevention? It's a critical question that deserves our attention and understanding. Cardiovascular diseases persist as a global killer, accounting for about one third of all deaths around the world. Preventive treatments, including a mix of aspirin, blood pressure, cholesterol lowering, or diabetes medications, have demonstrated a significant reduction in cardiovascular disease risk by up to 80%. Nonetheless, a significant obstacle persists inadequate adherence to medication. Recent studies suggest that up to half of medications are not taken as prescribed. Okay, let's talk about medication adherence. Would you define it? According to the World Health Organization, it's essentially how well a person keeps up with their doctor's advice. This is not just about popping pills, but also tweaking their diet and reshaping their lifestyle. The tricky part, when people don't stick to this, it makes their medication less powerful. This can lead to more severe illnesses, increased death rates, and higher health care bills. Makes it worse, quite a few things actually. For patients, dealing with complex medication routines and hefty price tags can be a nightmare. On the provider's end, miscommunication and lack of coordinated care can throw a wrench in the works. And let's not forget about the systemic issues, like not being able to get to the doctor or refill a prescription. All these can make medication adherence a real challenge. Identifying medication adherence is crucial. Medication adherence assessment involves various methods, including self-reporting, medication logs, pharmacy records, electronic monitoring devices, medication adherence scales, clinical assessments, and biological markers. However, no single strategy solves everything. Instead, a combination of interventions targeting patient, provider, and system-level barriers proves most effective. Education plays a vital role in improving medication adherence. Customized educational interventions, follow-up sessions, and nurse-led counseling have shown potential in enhancing adherence and cardiovascular outcomes. Additionally, Fixed dose combination therapy and mobile health applications offer innovative ways to improve adherence and manage medications more efficiently. Technological solutions like automatic home medication dispensers provide invaluable support for older adults or those with cognitive impairments. These devices offer reminders and caregiver notifications, significantly improving adherence rates. Incentive based interventions like reduced co payments and financial rewards have also shown effectiveness in improving medication adherence. However, their applicability may vary across different healthcare systems and socioeconomic contexts. Numerous toolkits have been developed to assist healthcare professionals and educators in addressing medication adherence. These resources provide best practices for evaluating adherence, using adherence aids, empowering patients, and overcoming barriers. Improving medication adherence in cardiovascular disease prevention necessitates a comprehensive approach that includes patient education, provider collaboration, technological innovation, and policy interventions. By implementing evidence-based strategies and promoting patient engagement, we can work towards better cardiovascular outcomes and improved quality of life. And there we have it. Adherence is the key to safeguarding your patient's heart health. Until our next discussion, stay informed. Be sure to subscribe for more enlightening videos like this one.